G'day guys, Nathan here again for another DIY video. I've uh, got a new car behind me, one that I'm uh, preparing for registration um, here in Victoria. We call it a Roadworthy, um, but you know every state and every country has different uh, rules on how they do that. But for me, um, there's a bunch of things you've got to do. Victoria is pretty strict with how they do their roadies, and um, I've got a problem where my seat belts don't retract fast enough. So I'm going to show you how you can fix them, what you can do to you know, get things working better, to clean them up or whatever. Maybe they're just dirty, maybe they're stuffed, maybe it's mandatory, you need to do it for a roadworthy or something, the equivalent for whatever you call it. But um, I've got a Toyota Corolla here, an old school 80s one. Um, and yeah, I'll show you. So the car is uh, in relatively good condition, uh, especially for its age. Um, but the seat belts are retracted very slowly. Um, uh, well, yeah, very slowly, not fast enough to pass a roadworthy. Um, they need to retract nice and fast. So you have um, a few options uh, on what you can do. Um, one is buy a whole new one, and you can either get a mechanic to do that and install it for you, or you can you know, buy it online somewhere yourself and install it. Car this old, it's kind of hard to find parts of the wreckers, um, and I and I really doubt you'd be able to buy anything brand new for a car. This is like this is a 1986 model Corolla. Um, so that's your first option. Your second option is to go to a seatbelt um, specialist, and they'll pretty much recall it. Um, they'll clean up all the gears. They might sorry not clean yeah they'll clean up the gears and the mechanisms. Um, essentially they're just going to lubricate it they might adjust the spring and make that a little bit tighter um, and they depending on if you want it they can replace the actual belt as well and then you get a nice new belt um, here in Victoria if you got rips or cuts in it um, or if it's frayed a little bit too much um, or if it's really stiff and doesn't retract all those things they'll dick you for it and you won't be able to get your car passed um, so you can get yeah a Rico guy to fix it up all for you, put a new belt in there, it'll be nice and shiny, it'll work like new, is your second option. And your third option, and this is probably what, why you're watching this video, is uh, what I'm doing is fix it yourself at home uh, for free, pretty much, and um, I'll be able to show you guys what it does after. So all that happens is, um, these belts, they just get dirty over the years, like I said, this is car's bloody old, but it's in really good nick, the seat belts, as you can see, it's quite, um, you know, black and, and you know, not discolored, not ripped or whatever. Um, this car's only had like three, I think I'm the fourth owner. Um, but yeah, what happens is they just they just get dirty. Um, you know, rubbing on your skin, you know, if you haven't got a top on, rubbing on your, um, your chest and you spill drinks on them and you know, they get all kinds of stuff on it and uh, it's pretty much just full of grot. <laughs> and what happens is it makes this go stiffer um, because it's just full of stuff and then it makes it hard to uh, move <clears throat> hard to move the mechanism here because it's stiff and it's just rubbing on everything. So what you can do to fix it yourself uh, at home for free and in like, you know, 20 minutes worth of work is um, you clean it up and all you do is you pull your seatbelt uh, out as much as it possibly can, just retract it all the way. Um, most of the time this top bit here and all inside here will be relatively clean because it, you know, never gets pulled or used. Clamp it off there, and then get a hot, soapy bucket of water, and chuck it in there, and then you wanna mix some type of cleaning fluid. Um, I heard that uh, laundry detergent and powder and that kind of stuff is really good, and if you've ever touched it before, it goes really slippery, obviously it cleans your clothes, gets um, grease and all kinds of crap out. Um, so I just got one of those and put about half a, half a um, cup, or you know, the little thing they give you, half one of those in there, Brought it into the car, um, and that's been sitting there for about 15 minutes, and look at the color of that water. I mean, this, as I said, looked pretty good. Um, it didn't look, you know, super bad and stuff, but look at that, I mean, that's just feral. So, pretty much, you soak it in there, keep it nice and hot. Some guys say get, um, you know, brushes and stuff, and scrub it all. I don't find you really need to do that. Chuck it in there, you know, move it around, give it a swish with your hands. Um, as you can see, I'm doing the other side too. Now, you'll probably be able to see the color difference. There we go. And uh, that makes sense. Driver's side, you know, it gets used every time. Passenger, you know, might not get used every time. 
So I'm doing them both, preparing the car for roadie. But that's pretty much all you got to do. And then I just gave them a wash with my hands. So you put it in there, you know, you move it around, you disturb it, you scrub it a bit. And then I just dunked my hand in the water uh, and, you know, was just rubbing it all over the thing and giving it a bit of a scrub. And then your hands go all slippery. You, you can um, lubricate it yourself, the actual mechanism um, there. So if you pull off, obviously, your cover, there's really not usually much to it. You probably won't need any tools really for it but you can usually just pull these kinds of things off your trim and then the, the plastic that's there just comes out and then you can um, spray lubricate you know if you can inside inside there or whatever um, and also I've seen guys where they um, they, te they tension up the spring that's in there I did that the spring came out it freaking went everywhere. I had to figure out how to put this thing back together. I literally spent over three hours trying to fix these. Um, and I just went, bugger this. So I went to the cleaning way and it's clearly heats better. So this is what they look like before. On our left, we have the passenger side and on our right, the driver's side. So obviously that water was pretty gross. So I'm gonna give it another clean. I've just got some fresh water. Um, so you'll be able to see how clean it goes. So it's a little bit cloudy just because it's hot and obviously it's got soap in there now. But you just put your um, seatbelt back in there. So I've took it out. When I took it out, I gave it um, a wipe down, gave it a final clean, wiped down, and then dried it because much um, of the you know original soapy water out just because it's probably full of gunk as well as soap. Um, and then yeah, you pretty much just rub it like that try not to get too much water everywhere but yeah do that on both sides and we'll see what the water looks like after the second time of cleaning it and hopefully it's better and after the second clean again on our left is the passenger side and on the right is the driver's side so as you can see it was still a little bit um dirty but obviously a really big difference between the uh, second wash you don't have to do two washes I kind of did it one to be able to show you guys and because I was curious and two just because I thought why not you know it takes 15 minutes chuck it in there let it soak scrub it for a minute you know do that two or three times but um, once you've done that and you're happy with um, how clean they are um, keep them pegged up and then you just want to sprawl them out um, over the seat or um, over the steering wheel whatever just so that they can dry. So you definitely, while they're wet, keep them pegged up because if you just dry them with a towel um, and then let them spool back up in the in the seatbelt and in the pillar, then um, they're gonna mold uh, real quick and you'll start to have things growing. Mold starts to grow in like two days or something with dampness. So if you, yeah, leave that and it doesn't dry out, you will have mold, you get smells, um, and it could potentially stiffen up again. I'm not really sure about that one, but you definitely don't want to do that So just let them dry out. Um, you know if you can park your car in the Sun do that Otherwise put the heater on crank it in there and just leave them to um, Dry and then once you reckon they're dry then yeah, take the pegs off and you'll be good as gold Alrighty, it's uh, sometime later the seat belts are dry. So I'm going to show you what they look like now this is what the problem was. When I, uh, before I'd cleaned it, when I'd pull it um, out all the way uh, and would let it go, it would retract uh, very slowly. And then it would get to a certain point and then it would just pause there and uh, get stuck. Uh, and essentially you'd have to feed it all the way back in. Um, and now that we've given it a clean, um, I can use it, pull it out, and when I let it go, it zips back. That is exactly what you want. Now, try and do this with one. Oh. Try and do this with one hand is a little bit hard. So that's it all the way retracted. <clears throat> you let it go. Shoots right back in there. Because um, essentially, the main thing they're looking for is once that goes into the um, buckle, when you let it go, what does it do? And um, that is is quite good. Um, and as long as it does that, like I said, um, this is for a roadworthy. Uh, in Victoria and that's one of the things that they care about and that goes back the way it should I don't know how well it'll show up on camera but um 
these belts are very clean. I mean, even way down at the bottom, where this part would have had the most, you know, grot uh, wear and tear. And you can see that, you know, it's nice and black. It's nice and clean. Uh, they're soft and they're very, um, it's very flexible. It, you know, it's, yeah. That's all for this video, guys. You've essentially seen uh, how to do that. I really hope that it helps. Um, and that's, that's really it. If you like this kind of video, uh, if you're interested in um, DIY type stuff, uh, modifying cars and um, tools and that sort of thing, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'm going to be putting out content just like this sort of stuff. Um, and if you like it, you may like some of my other videos. So check them out and um, hit that subscribe button uh, and tick the bell if you are interested. And if you think this video was good, um, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out, guys, um, more than you guys know. Um, and if you think there's something uh, I missed or uh, if there was something maybe I could have done better or you didn't like about the video, let me know in the comments uh, below. I'm just about making content that is useful to people and uh, that is the best out there. So hopefully that helps, guys. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.